In this video, we're going to talk about how to identify high probability setups using price action rules. My goal as a trader is to always make sense what the candles are telling me. And one of the ways I'm going to do this is I'm going to identify the correct channel. Now, what structure are we trading? Well, we are trading a bearish trend. How strong is this trend? This is a weak downtrend. Now, why am I classifying this as a weak downtrend? Even though we have series of low highs and low lows, I can see that the bullish corrections are quite significant. EMA is not rejecting. We're always pushing above. And it basically looks like a train range slightly tilted down. So when I'm trading a weak downtrend, I need to make sure that I'm not too aggressive selling at the bottom of the push phase because the correction phase will be significant. And because we want to stay on the right side of the market, I'm going to always try to identify the right channel. And you can see how nice it fits at the top. Market geometry is real. I'm going to put it at the bottom and we have a nicely fitting downtrend. So our all energy is focused on identifying good short setups. Now we can see we have a large two like a pullback at the key entry point and also micro first entry short pullback second entry short market moves in twos and this is why we're looking for key entry point because if two like a pullback will form at the key entry point in the right conditions it will indicate end of the correction phase and beginning of the push phase the signal bar however is neutral now if you had the correct channel when you're watching this live you can consider for this reason i'm going to mark it a little bit more aggressive because safer option is to wait for a lower high below the EMA. You need to have the right channel, but you can see clear to like a pullback at the key entry point. We're breaking lower, but there is no lower high. You can see there is no first entry long to fail. No break above these bars highs. And by the time we get a lower high, price action moves so far down that I'm mainly treating this as a first entry short. You prefer the lower high to form around the EMA. So a little bit more aggressive here. This is a weak downtrend. Remember, we're not trading a strong downtrend. We can be more aggressive. The lower you sell, the riskier it gets. Makes sense context-wise, but not fully easy high probability setup because it didn't form right at the EMA. Because when I'm taking a lower high confirmation setup, I want it to form close to the setup that it is confirming. Okay, the further away it gets, the more I'm treating this as a first entry short. So we can see we're trading bearish downtrend. So my focus is still nothing is changing, looking for correct opportunity to sell. I'm always following the short term channel. That's how price action moves. I cannot sell at the bottom of the move. We are trading a big downtrend. So I'm not selling into these lows, looking like a train range. We're breaking the channel. So according to rules, we're expecting new extreme. Okay. Nothing is changing just because channel is breaking. In fact, the sellers are going to get new low most likely. This is why we're looking for the correct channel to follow rules. And we have second entry short, new low, first entry short, pull back second entry short, but notice. We didn't take above this bull bar and more importantly, we didn't push below EMA. Here we were supposed to push below and stay below. We pushed back above and that's concerning. So because of these two minor nuances, I'm not excited about this setup, but I will mark it if you're a developing trader, if you took it because it is gliding off the trend line, you need new low. Decent setup to take a chance, a little bit sideways too. It would have stopped you out by one tick and later it formed felt second entry long. Now you may wonder, why can we sell now? Well, because remember, market moves in tools. And this is the second attempt by the bulls to create new high for this option. And it failed. The trend line keeps holding and we need new low. So because this is a second attempt, it's stronger. This is why we call it a trap. So this is a great high probability setup. Felt second entry long downtrend needs new low. And market continues working lower. We reach the new extreme. So we are pausing, looking to sell. I'm respecting the uptrend. And we can right now enter correction phase or consolidation and you can already start to feel what the next market cycle may be if you had to guess your gut feeling is telling you okay we're going very sideways probably train range so this means always locate the correct key levels and i'm just trying to identify the places on a chart where i have most confirmations and i'm at the extremes you don't want to make the key levels too tight where you have tons of failed breakouts that's not how price action works you want to put it at the extreme but you don't want to be too far up with just one bounce. You want to have, you know, decent enough confirmations. So right now, as you can see, flat EMA, consistent price swings up and down. So we're entering brand new market cycle from downtrend, breaking low into consolidation. I was looking for a felt second entry long here because we had overshoot of this uptrend that never formed. You can't chase it this far down. So I don't see any good setup here. Market continues working higher and notice what we have. Break new extreme and we have visual measured move to like a pullback this is why i urge you guys to measure these legs because these legs a lot of times are going to be measured and they are measured that means 
that the target has been reached and the depletion of the bullish momentum is most likely going to be truly the pattern in price action okay so we have a full breakout i have brought to like a pullback so what are we expecting according to range rules we're expecting for breakout to fail especially if i can see these two legs being so broad and measured this is a clearly a healthy trend range and we have lower high confirmation of the fell breakout there's so much room to the ema that you know that the bulls are going to get trapped great high priority setup a little bit more advanced we need to be a little bit more skill but great lower high great bar so far from the ema most breakouts will fail this is what the price session does so you can see this is why we're looking for key levels looking for these channels because it will help us to navigate price session correctly because most traders they have no idea why price session is moving in certain patterns but if you're cognizant of price session rules you can gain an edge over the majority of traders so i'm going to always follow the channel far from the ema i can't take and notice how strong this is from the top all the way to the bottom we never truly touch the ema and price action keeps going a little bit lower if i'm going to put it here i can treat it as a breakout pullback pattern but what do you think can you take it well not really this was quite a long train range and we're above ema i would really prefer a lower high in this instance because the healthier the range is the chances are it may be fell breakout can we get a lower high and there is no break above these bars high so no lower high form unfortunately and we traded lower but you can see most breakouts fail at least temporarily breakout pull back the support is transforming into resistance push below and this would have been a great area to get lower high confirmation setup over the second entry short price session keeps working lower so right now you can see the price session is difficult to navigate because okay downtrend played out but we keep pushing lower so i cannot go long but i cannot really sell this is not a strong downtrend just yet i have short map in play doji i can't sell so i'm just going to be patient okay we're going high we have a break new high we're going lower so right now you can see ema is starting to flatten and it's starting to resemble a train train range day when we have pushed down into train range now we have another push down into train range because you can see ema flattening so we can look for whoops potential resistance at the top support at the bottom we have a felt second entry short but i feel it's a little bit too early this was so bearish you know a little bit too early but now you can see we have high low confirmation setup of the felt second entry short at two key entry points the channel and the ema and because there's a confirmation setup right now it's a little bit safer you're getting more confirmation from the market you can consider high low confirmation of felt second entry short price session keeps working higher actually my channel is a little bit too tight i'm gonna navigate like this Okay, we have micro double top, which means I need to reset the count. We have first entry long, and you have a second entry long. New high, first entry long, second entry long. At the EMA, micro support, this channel needs new high. There's enough room for me to scalp before I'm going to reach these highs. I'm using the chart enhancer tool to make sure I have enough room to scalp out. You can also see the bar is under three points. I'm looking at this particular mark, so I can enter. In fact, I took this setup myself. A great second entry long, uptrend needs new high. You can see the price action follows the trend line rule even in trend ranges, but the channels are tighter. You cannot really draw them too wide. It's the number one rule of navigating trend ranges. You have break new extreme, and you already may know what may happen. Flat EMA trend range, most breakouts will fail. Okay? Most breakouts will fail, and for this reason, fell breakout, great one single bar is a high priority setup. This is a healthy trend range, especially on a bearish downtrend day. Now, of course, it is safer to get a lower high. Okay, we get a lower high here, but notice we talked about this. Notice how far you pushed. Now, this setup is not bad and it ended up working. Okay, it worked nicely for a scalp, but just because it worked here, I don't think I can mark it because you really prefer it to form here. It pushed too far down. And at this point, I'm treating this more as a first entry short. Now, this is nuance. I don't want to overcomplicate it too much if you took it. You got the scalp no problem but i would really like to see the second entry short it would also be felt second entry long but it never broke lower now by the time we get a second entry short and a felt second entry long it pushed above ema you can see two legs up you're at the key entry point at the resistance where sellers will come into the market but this is more advanced because you pushed above ema so there may be another push higher can we get a lower high confirmation setup we can here but we're back above ema horrible bar we're not below ema so you can see your idea to sell is correct 
it's just a little bit more advanced to be selling at these highs since even the lower high pushed back above EMA didn't manage to stay below. Had the lower high pushed below EMA, you want to sell. You know, even this second entry short plus second entry long, very tempting setup because you're at the top of the trend range and you want to sell high by low. Okay, this downtrend played out with the break new extreme. So I'm going to be a little bit careful to be selling right now. I'm just going to navigate the short term channels. Nothing. I cannot go long in the middle of no man's land, in the middle of train range, two congestion, EMA on these bars. We could still have brand new downtrend starting from these matching highs. Be patient, no trade zone. Remember, if you're not sure, just don't force it. You want everything to align in price action. Oops, there ended up being a wider channel like this. They reached a break new extreme, followed by a massive reversal. The buyers, once again, coming into the market at the bottom of the train range. We have another fell breakout, but we cannot sell because the uptrend is still in play. The new high may be tested. Okay, in fact, this is what you're expecting. You have a first entry long, you're expecting second entry long for a new high. But by the time you get second entry long, actually, you don't even get it. Notice how long the first entry long push was. It already created a temp for a new extreme. And because we are trading a train range, the sellers may generate strong pressure at the top. So attempt may be considered enough. Now, how do I know that I can stop looking for a new extreme and consider the attempt valid? It's simple. It's going to come down to the EMA. If EMA was holding, I would be interested in taking second entry long. And because EMA didn't hold and second entry long form below EMA, you can't take second entry long, okay? Because at this point, the sellers are too strong. The train range is taking over. We're going to reverse. I'm going to redraw the short and downtrend once again. Now, this second entry long failure is very tempting, but you need to understand that there is no new high for the uptrend. So it is once again a little bit more advanced and a little bit more difficult to trust it since the uptrend doesn't have a new high. But the resistance is so consistent, you know, such a strong bar at the EMA. You may consider as well decent bullish trap. Market continues working lower. We have another second entry short, basically acting as a breakout pullback. But because this was such a healthy train range, you really need more than a second entry short can get a little high. And we have a little high confirmation setup of the second entry short. Very close to second entry short, actually. This is what you want to see. Remember, breakout pullback pattern, we saw it once already. And when the train range is very healthy, there can be chance of this just resulting into felt breakout. For this reason, I want to see the lower high. But you have to remember also that we had bearish downtrend, the main bias. So the low high is great context, wise, but look at my signal bar. Half of this body is, you know, bullish tail. So I can mark it more aggressive. If you have better bar on your chart, you can definitely mark it red as a really high probability setup. But on my chart, the signal bar kind of like lost, unfortunately. We keep working lower. We created a new low. Now, because the support is once again transforming into resistance, the second entry short will still be interesting. But we only have first entry short. Market continues working lower. The bottom of the trend range is shifting. And we have massive bullish reversal. Okay, I'm going to redraw the short term uptrend. And price action keeps working here. In fact, allowing me to identify the spike and a channel pattern. Now we have a second entry long here, but we are not fully at the EMA. This is because there's a channel in play. Now you're very, very close and this resembles clean to like a pullback, but there is still some distance to the EMA. So for this reason, I'm going to mark it a little bit more aggressive. Okay, we're breaking the channel soon. Okay, now we're breaking the channel. You can't go long far from the key entry point. You can't really sell because this channel is in play. Now we're expecting a new high for the spike and channel, but we're below EMA. So we cannot go long, can get a high low above EMA. We cannot and mark it keeps dropping lower okay so definitely pausing to go long right now you're observing what's happening you have to be extra careful here because you're also at the top of the trend range remember the sellers may come into play and this is exactly what market did not uncommon just adapt you trade a market you get not the market you want this is common in trend ranges the key level is going to produce such a significant pressure that the spike in a channel may not get new extreme okay so you will take this into consideration if you trace too far down just adapt this downtrend is in play and it needs to get new extreme. And we already have a small break in new extreme, so we cannot go short. The buyers are stepping into the market again at the bottom of the trend range. However, the trend range is quite significant. I don't think 
we can just buy especially since this downtrend looks so strong so if you want to go long you need to see if you get pushed above ema and proven uptrend which we have this is where you start paying more attention because even in trend engines you are following trend line rule so right now you have clear push above ema we have uptrend confirmed so we can consider right now pull back to the ema and a second entry long and i'm gonna count from the new high we have first entry long second entry long and not only that this is fell breakout out of this congestion six bar stacked so you have second entry long and you have fell breakout the more reasons you have to enter to confirm your analysis the more you can trust your analysis and trust the setup so you have two reasons to enter up Chinese new high i love setups like these where everything aligns we're coming up the range lows up Chinese new high clear to leg up pullback fell breakout great single bar you know these setups are really really high probability setups you know you can't beat setups like these there's always at least two or three setups like this every single day so even a very beginner trader can spot this now we have a new extreme now this looks like a high low it feels like a high low but we technically reach new high so even though you probably feel you're going to push higher we can't really go long because you follow the rules this high is higher than this so unfortunately i can't really you know break the rules but really your gut feeling is telling you okay you're most likely gonna create a push up you have reversal down so right now there was no reversal pattern we just shut down you're thinking about second entry short at the ema this downtrend needs to get new extreme but we have micro break new low so this is concerning and for this reason unfortunately you can't take this second entry short because you have micro break new low you know it's too sideways even though it worked for a scalp we have to be patient okay most breakouts will fail this was a trend range for breakout you have brand new downtrend working lower but i don't see any good setup once again you really don't want to be selling at the bottom here of the push phase you want to be selling at the top this was too bearish day to be buying you know not the easy structure i can at this point locate possible wider channel we have new first entry short second entry short you know once again we see this already many times so you can see if i'm going to zoom back you can see you cannot deny how bearish this is in fact there is a bigger bearish downtrend so for this reason all of these breakout pullbacks are working and this is a train train range day push down train range push down train range push down so once again repeat pattern you can see our price session repeat the breakout pullback you can consider the safer alternative is to get the lower high and there is no break above these bars so unfortunately no lower high and market continues lower and now it's getting pretty much way too late yes so this is the bigger picture for today as you can see a lot of price action overall major downtrend we have an overshoot so we have stronger pullback to the upside now this is why the breakouts pullback worked because we have overall bearish downtrend but you still want to draw the trend ranges you have a push down trend range push down and the trend range always follow the trend line rule even within a trend range i hope you had a good trading day i'm gonna wrap it up i'm gonna to talk to you next time good luck with your trading